Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I want to take a look at Space Tyrant. This is a super fast, super lightweight space strategy game where you are the evil bad dude. Okay, you can be the evil bad dude in all sorts of uh, games, but in this one, you have no choice. So, yeah, it's very comic-like. It is very fast. Uh, you can find out about all the different uh, clans early on in the game. You've, I've only unlocked the Hoplite Dynasty, and even then there's limits to what I can get here. As the game goes on, you unlock more and more options, of course. But uh, the invasion process is very simple. You have, like, you know, three different... Or, sorry, you have four different regions that you can invade. The Hive World, the Twisting Nebula, the Burrowed Fields. And, yeah, you have a couple of missions available to you. You have one commander at this time who has special abilities. So, well, I, I shall go for the Burrowed Fields because it looks like a rabbit. And I kind of look like I could be a rabbit as well. Underfoot Stratagem. Quirks. Ion Storms. Blockade. Expensive ships. Strong fort. So, there's all these li little factors here. And you get rewards. Uh, for completing things. So when a ship is destroyed, all other ships get increased defenses. These are items that you get to carry along with you. I'm gonna do this. Uh, so yeah, here is my start. Here's my deck, because there's cards. There's a lot of cards you gotta play. You have items, which will uh, help you in various ways. As you acquire items, you can replace them, right? The Queen's Mercy replaces my tattered cloak, for example. Starting the mission. It becomes a little more obvious once the game starts playing. The idea is that, you know, things like Stellaris, they might take, you know, five, six hours just to play a short game. Max tech for two ships. So there's two options here, right? I can either conquer 17 planets or maximize my tech for two different ships. Um, so yeah, this is my ship here. This is various places around here. This is a prison. That will really help me if I get that, because I can uh, un I can free Shocktopus, which is one of my friends. Now these cards down here, these are um, these are special abilities. You can spend them whenever you like. I also have some cash. So what I think I'm gonna do is first of all buy another destroyer, which is costing me 10% more than usual. That's probably because of some uh, feature of this particular level. And then we're going to head over to the prison so that Stonehair can fight Dr. Days and release my friend, Shoctopus. Okay. I am going to do this. Okay, that. And then so we can click on the, eye, the characters to get various special effects. He has the ability to throw meteors at the appropriate moment. And they put up shields, unfortunately. Come on, meteors! Thank you. And apparently we're hitting... Oh, we need to seal the hull breach. Thank you. Seal that breach as well. Meteor strike, and you're inspired to volley again. And you can regenerate. You're down to half health. Come on! Yes! Barely got him out of there by the skin of his teeth. Slaves should know their places. So about this new government, you're going to like it. Now, we've got to this prison, we have to invade it. It has a strength of two, you start out with a single dice. Easy enough to get the invasion, there's no complex management of troops or anything like that. And then after you invade, you do a bit of exploration. While exploring some alien ruins, a common shoulder soldier touches an artifact that grants him godlike powers. I shall trick them into helping you. Your wit is not up to the task and the demigod is not amused. He disrupts one of your schemes as punishment. No! Well, it's okay. That was one that could have been useful for invading, but... Yeah, whatever. So, end of the turn. Oh, actually, it's not the end of the turn because now I have Shocktopus. And I could send him over to a lab or to a vulnerable interlink mode. What what does that mean? I don't know. I think I'm going to send him over to the lab. That way we can just invade it. It's going to be a fast gain. And it means that we can start pushing towards those research, that research. Exploring the system, you discover a hidden wormhole. Let us calculate the trajectory. The wormhole spits you out in another location. Where am I? I'm way behind enemy lines. Which 
Um, I'm wondering whether... Oh, should I invade that as well? Sure, let's invade that. Oh, brilliant! More crystals! And the exploration of this planet brings me... Uh, your scientists have discovered that the instability of this planet is due to an anomalous mantle-core interactions. Shall I nuke the core? Use science, the frack out of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nuke the core, see what happens. You speed up the planet's destruction! <laughs> oh well, so much for that. It's not really what I wanted to do, but now I have some asteroids that are fortified. Yeah, these guys are kind of behind enemy lines. I'm gonna give them experience. So that it'll uh, help them, but it won't. You know, he'll need two experience to unlock extra ships. That's great. Uh, orbital strike, not really that useful. Next turn. So this here is my tyranny meter. When it's high, I get to use my death ray. There is also unrest that comes up from the bottom. If that reaches the top, then uh, I lose the game. So I can increase my tyranny by doing things like, you know, forcing people to fight me in a death match, which is kind of cool to be honest. Um, well, I'm kind of worried that we have a doomed slow lab. Oh, it's ex gonna explode in nine turns. Let's get over there. So you'll notice that that has the option to hire. I will be able to send people over there when. Uh, I will be able to hire new leaders, but I think I have a limit of three leaders. These guys are going to go to the interlink node. Oh, wait a second. There we go. I'm going to try and connect these things backwards. Some of the connections are one way only, incidentally. Ooh, these guys look like they could be pretty tough. Um, uh, I'm going to try this. 50-50 chance. Oh, I blew up that ship. Volley, volley. Volley. Come on, get the shield wall up. Shield wall! There, protect ourselves against the incoming damage and all that. You're ready to regenerate. Oh, excellent. Ooh, they're inspired to shoot back harder. But they cannot cope with my uh, shot to the skills. So he should now have jumped up a level. He gets level 2. He gets to fly with a bigger fleet. But we can't rearm them right now. We need to invade. Uh, let's do that. Okay. 2 damage. Excellent. Would suck if I only got 1 there. Okay, on a secluded island you find a small population of truly bizarre, multi-limbed life forms. Unfortunately for them, their sole habitat appears to be atop a vein of isotope-rich ore. I will refine the ore for fuel. Mining crews mercilessly tear through the small habitat, churning up precious isotope-laden ore. Some creatures might survive, but that is no matter to a space tyrant. And does this mean I get to move again? Yeah, that's what it says. Vulnerable decaying city. Ooh, let's do that. Invade! And I just get to invade. Man, I'm just like tearing through this map. That's great. Control 60% of the planets. I'm getting a really fast take on that. And I also get... Uh, I'm going to concentrate on that ship because I have it. No, um, it would be next turn, but I'm going to call... Oh, actually, what I'm going to do, my tyrant, like, ability is basically maxed as it is. So I'm going to use my death ray to attack somebody. I'm going to attack this thing. Bingo! Yeah! Excellent. And now I can use the arena deathmatch to push my tyranny back up again. That's right, baby next turn. So the Senate are now fortifying. These are allying. And you're back here. It's important if you to realize if you lose your home planet you are in, you know, you basically lose the game. So I'm going to go to the lab because I know that's going to disappear in some amount of time. Scrunto is saying these are our space blocks. happy. 
Scrunter was unable to cope with my massive power strikes. And now Stone here is level 2. Uh, without warning, a wormhole like a normally appears in front of your fleet. You must act quickly to avoid disaster. I'm gonna enter the wormhole. You're quickly transported to a new location, and now I have navigator ability. Wow, I'm moving very, very quickly. This might work for me. Oh, excellent. Like, normally, you wouldn't be moving this fast around the map, I'm gonna say. This is really lucky. Scouts in the system have located a damaged probe of unknown origin. Scans show the device contains an advanced sentient AI system. What will you do with it? I will force it to research. Slave to my research network, the AI produces a flurry of technical discovery. And so my carrier gets the ability to have wider bays because the pilots are not very good at landing. You go there. And invade. Two damage, excellent. Another crystal planet is mine. Now, the crystals, of course, are what power your special schemes, your cards. An extremely influential noble of this world has refused to submit to imperial rule. Your agents fear that executing them could re lead to outright rebellion. I'm going to abduct them as a hostage, smash into their noble's home and abduct their children. After seeing the lengths you will go to, obedience is immediate and complete. Mad science. Gain one tech at random. That sounds like a good plan do that, see what I get. And I get the regeneration field, which is useful because it means I can um, heal up that ship and the, the neighbors. Okay, so death ray against this thing, for sure. Because I need to be able to shut them down, but meanwhile, primordial barracks actually will help me. I believe barracks actually makes invading planets easier. So you gonna move here. We've got a pretty small fleet. We're gonna take them down. Ah, pit of the fool. I could have been a contender. So now invading this might be a little hard. So I'm just gonna spend that crystal because I've got no reason not to. Yeah, that's great. I would have not been able to do that if I hadn't did that. Okay, so your advisors have determined this planet is a good candidate for improvements and experimental effects. Hack the planet! Using the raw reverse sources and might of your empire, this planet has been improved with special power. What is the special power? Permanently remove siege value for a free tech. What? Sooner or later, the enemies will start moving at me, so I'm very lucky that I'm moving so fast. Nothing is going to stop this. Okay, enemy shields have... Volley, volley, volley... All hail our new overlord! You are... You are correct on that. Okay, 50, 50... Actually, better than 50, 50 chance, because I get a die from the barracks. So every barracks you have makes invading easier. An ion storm sweeps through the system and the fleet cannot avoid it. Batten down the hatches! The storm is powerful, disrupting and damaging systems. However, that means I lost a ship. Not good. But whatever, we're able to survive. Uh oh, this one is still fortifying. And I should have used my death ray, shouldn't I? Oh, four destroyers to the fleet. Nice to know. Yeah, I think I'm going to shoot this thing again with my Space Tyrant Death Ray. Because sooner or later I want to kill that. Hopefully I can invade this time. It's ka-clack! These are our space rocks. Not for long. I'm going to do that. Mob rule. Double damage. Double damage. Double damage. Tactical volley. Tactical volley. Yeah, you're taking the damage. <laughs> Slaves know their place. Now I can invade. And Stonehair's level 2 or 3 or whatever. So he gets even more space. He gets better upgrades. And we'll get a flagship. Ooh. Add one dreadnought to a fleet. Great, but we're going to invade first. Thank you. The 
planet is captured. But we discover nothing. Oh yeah, so I can invade and then I can use overdrive to make a move. Thank... What are the odds that I get that unlucky? Uh, okay, you discover a group of traitors in your midst, actively planning against your tyranny. What do you do with them? I'm going to re-educate them. Oh, great. I get better fleet skills. And I can actually use my overdrive now on this. And they can now move to here. And we'll invade this trade world as well. Look, it's Red Eye, the massive space bunny. I need the regeneration field. These ships are hurt. Yes. Shoctopus just shown who's boss. And now we can invade. Come on, five. Thank you. Victory. I am so close to getting 60% of the planets. Oh, and I could actually use my death ray again on this big fleet. I might as well do that. And actually... Another thing I can do is I can hire a new commander here. And although they don't have, you know, full capabilities yet, I think I'm going to move them to this lab so they're ready to jump across and invade that. I think what I want to do is send this fleet over to the crystal planet first. There's nothing there. It's super easy to invade. Oh, what the hell? Snake eyes? So can I just bombard this. Yes, planet captured. Okay. Nothing discovered. But I get asteroid mining. So these are the cards here that as you basically succeed, you get extra. These cards will come out, right? These are like tyrant cards. I pity the fool that fights me. Uh, fighter squadron respite. Make ship invulnerable. Okay, tactical volley, tactical, okay, I'm going to make the ship invulnerable because that's the one that seems to be getting the attacks. And then bring up the geo shield against this, tactical volley, killing the little ones, now we have just the big one left. Geo shield, I'm gonna geo shield you, cause you are the one that is vulnerable. No, I lost you. No, almost were successful. Slaves should know their place, though. Okay, so invade the lab. Easy enough. Lab is taken, and the galaxy is oppressed. Victory. So I get the Queen's Mercy, which is a new outfit. I get a Roid Rage card. That is, of course, referring to asteroids rather than, say, hemorrhoids or steroids or whatever. So yeah, look, I returned to Tyrant Command having completed one mission, and now I have more options for missions. Now, the Galactic Senate will send spacecraft across, and I have to, of course, deal with them. But having completed a mission, I also get a perk which will presumably help me against the forces that are waiting to take me down. So yeah, um, the game is Space Tyrant. It is in early access. I think really by saying early access, it's really more in the polishing phase, the balancing phase. I quite like the little thing, and I do like the fact that you can kind of go through these very tight, very fast scenarios in, you know, half an hour to an hour. Uh, so yeah, check it out. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.